Hello everybody, this is Mr. Mario with one more tutorial for Tinkercad SimLab. In this case, we'll talk about the pivot connector. So as you remember, the pivot connector is a connector in Tinkercad that allows you to lock two shapes or components and make one spinning around the other one thanks to a pivot point. But what is the difference with uh, the axle connector? The axle connector, the only movement that can do is rotations. I mean rotations, spinning, but the pivot gives you a bigger uh, level of freedom. Now, to explore the pivot connector and how to integrate it with the axle connector, we will do a little experiment here. So, I am bringing in my ruler, okay, I bring a cylinder, full sides, I will change the color to some pink, and let's say 130 of height, okay. Maybe I will increase a bit the work plane, let's make it... 400 per 400 plus settings okay much better now over this cylinder i will place a box i am placing it on top let's make it 130 long okay very good it's 20, let's leave it on 20. Okay. And over this box, I will go to the library, shapes library, and I am going to SimLab, and I am bringing the axle connector. You already know the axle connector. Sorry, here I edit the screen a bit. Minimize the screen. Okay, so you already know the axle connector. We have been using that connector for the last lessons. Okay. Now, after bringing the axle connector and the cylinder and the box, I select all and I will align to the center. Align. I choose this center and I choose this center. Good. Now you can see the connector is full in the center. Next, I will again select which one is the base component. Sorry. Okay. I will select which one is the base component. The cylinder is the base component. And I will choose the uh, moving component this one. Okay. I select the connector, I click the connector, and with the gray circle, this one. This is the rotational component? No, it's this one, the moving component. And with the orange, I choose the cylinder. So now look, blue, the wild connector, orange, the base component. Okay. I'm coming to the SimLab. Okay, here let's change material to concrete just for fun. Okay, so here I will add a bit of torque and a bit of speed. And let's start. Of course, I forgot to make this component, the base component, static. Reset. So I choose the cylinder and I make it static. Remember, to make dynamic and static, you choose this one. So I will make it, make it static. Good. Let's see if it works. Great, it's working. Let's reduce a bit the speed.
Good. Let's see. Ah, it will work. Okay. I return to the create environment. And here, using the, using here, the browser, I will search for a shape name, name by plane. Okay. This airplane. I am placing it here. Good. Using shift and one of the handles, I am pressing shift, reducing the size. And I will rotate it 90 degrees. Also here. Good. Okay, perfect. Now, from basic shapes, I will bring the cylinder, this one, a cylinder, sides. I will create some kind of rod or rope using this cylinder. So I am reducing sizes here, here. for using shift, okay. Three, three millimeters will do. Okay. Three millimeters. I will change the color. I will change it to gray. Okay, good. I select both both airplane and the cylinder. I align. Align to this middle. Align to this middle. Okay. Now I will select both shapes, the airplane and the cylinder, and I will group. So they become one single component. Okay, good. We have it here. Now I will move it up. Okay, I think the here that's enough here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's change right point of view. Okay. Yes, it's always good to play with the view cube. Mm -hmm. And now let's move it here. Good. This will do. Now, to this point of the beam, I am going to, you can go to the sim lab, or again, as we did with the Axel connector, you can bring it from the sim lab group. I am just going to the sim lab, okay. And from the connectors, I am bringing the pivot connector. Good, so I am bringing it here. Okay, good. Yes, this will do. Okay. Wait, that is taking its time to render the airplane. Okay. Let's wait until they finish rendering the airplane. Okay, it didn't finish rendering, so we am returning to the free design environment. We can do the same from here. So I am clicking the connector. Now, with the gray circle, I will choose the base component, the orange one. Is this one? No. We check, it's already orange. Good. 
this will be the base component for our pivot connector. Now I click with the circle. I will the gray circle. I will choose the the mobile component, the blue one. This one. Perfect. Now, mobile, uh, base component, mobile component. Okay. Let's test if it works now. Okay. Let's test it. Okay, it's working. Yes. As you can see here, we have the rotational component, and this is depending. This is sorry. This is pending from this component. Now, as you can see, we have here a parameter in the pivot connector. Okay, let me refresh. But this is not normal. And much better. Yes, sometimes refreshing allows you to solve some problems. Now, it's working. I will reduce a bit the speed of the actual connector. Okay, good. Our airplane is flying. Reset. Now, when I click the actual connector, probably you see that we have a setting name cone angle limit. So, the higher this angle is, the more that the airplane will open. So it is 30 degrees. If I reduce to zero, as you can see, it doesn't open to the sides. Reset. If I choose, let's say, 45 degrees, the maximum angle of opening will be 45 degrees. Okay, let's add a bit of speed. Now, if you modify this to 90 degrees, and you move it, as you can see, it goes almost uh, parallel to the beam. Good. You can even use the tracer. I place a pressure here, so you can appreciate the different movements. So look, this is cone 90, this is cone 45, and this is cone 0. Okay. Now, you want to complete your design, you can simply copy the pivot connector, copy the airplane, control C, control B. For some reason, the uh, duplicate doesn't work with uh, this airplane, so we'll use the classic of control C, control B, or command C, command B, depending on your laptop okay and now let's test mm -hmm. so let's compare 45 to 90 So as you can see, the 145 is keeping a low angle, and the one of 90 
in blue is keeping a high y. Okay, this is all uh, for the moment. This is all for the moment. Today we learn how to use the pivot connector and how to use it uh, combined with an axle connector. See you next time.